Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and back to Strange Horticulture. So last time we left off, y'all, we had um let me take a look here. Yeah. Uh we had gotten this little clue here. And we also figured out a lot of other clues. But I did, I was told that there might be something on here. Oh, it is. Property of Nicholas Culpepper. Oh, thanks, Rory. You mentioned that there was something when it was folded. So I wonder if that if that's going to come into play at any time. I wonder. Um, all right. So when we left off, we had this little clue here. So let's go ahead and put that over there. And then we can pull it out of the drawer. Uh, where is it? There it is. And we kind of figured out that it was supposed to be like the mountains. So if we put it over these, we're supposed to be able to click right here. So this is E... 16. So E 16. The impressive ridge line of the Crinkle Crag stretches across the full width of my vision. Days like today are worth being alive for. A colorful plant stands out amongst the moth. All right, we got a plant. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, so how about we go ahead and just kick off the day? George Campbell. My old man reckons there's a plant what can find pots of gold buried underground. That? I think it would be that. Don't know what it's called, but I bet you do. Tell you what, when I'm rich, I'll throw a share of gold your way. Weeping Bell. What? We, we actually have that? Ew. Okay, um, interesting, softly, you know what, this kind of looks like this, we have that it might be, hmm, it's not what I meant to do, I meant to do that, we have, come on now, okay, <laughs> we have that that might be, Trumble Huff, but I don't know. Let's take a look actually. What does Weeping Bell say? Oh, look, the soft frilled leaves can soothe. In okay, soft. And look at this red flower, soft leaves. You know what? That's what it is. It has to be. It has to be. Got it, Weeping Bell. All right, let me write this down. Weeping Bell. Cool. Okay, and we got Lesser Merry Dock. The round flower head of the Merry Dock is made up of smaller yellow florets. A tiny, oh, a tiny, a single drop of the strong smelling sap from this plant can utterly drain a person's mental faculties rendering them slow and uncomprehending. Okay. <laughs> uh, so it says round flower head is made up of smaller yellow flowers. We don't really have anything here unidentified, but before I forget, oops. Take care of this. Weeping bell, yellow. Oh, we're running out of space again, y'all. Well, technically, some of this stuff could be moved over. Allow for some space. Yeah. Okay. Next. Enos Alford. Alford, I have a task for you that would greatly aid the seeds of redemption. One of the Dreyer is in town, and we know he's paid you a visit already. No doubt feeding his habit. We suspect he's here to hunt the Dendroom. If he returns, give him some of this. Oh, that's exactly what we just got. That's hilarious. So wait, wait, what was it called again? Uh, 
Y'all, what was it called? Mm, I don't remember. I don't remember. Lesser Mary Dog. That's what it was. Yep. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's what it is. But. So, they want us to give him some Lesser Mary Dog. If the Dreyer dude comes around. Okay. You can do that. I am heading out on the road again, but before I leave, I wanted to store some valuables in the safe. I don't trust myself to remember the combination, and I certainly don't trust myself to write it down anywhere and not lose it. This is where you come in. Surely you've got something up your sleeve for me. Baylock's- oh gosh. Oh no. Maybe it's this flower. So basically, let's put this stuff away. Basic. Hello? Yeah, I don't... If they're asking us for it, y'all, that means that we... Oh, wait, did we discover everybody? Yeah, we did. We did. Um, It means that it's, we likely have it. So it's like we're sure that it's this one. And I, oh snap, I can't go any further this way? Oh wow, okay. So we're sure that it's this one. And then we're sure uh, that it's this one. So kind of like this one, this one. So what is that first one? Oh crap, could it be the, oh no, 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 no. No, it's not this one. This one. Yeah. So this one. See? Yeah. See? See? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so. Hmm. What is this one? I feel like we tried something and that wasn't it, you know? Like the leaves are pointy. y'all did we try this i bet we did and i just don't remember let's just let's do it again and then i'm gonna write it down so butterdale and then these two let's see what happens so we tried butterdale no okay so okay at, at least i wrote it down this time <laughs> that we tried Butterdale. Uh, crap, what is this? Hmm. And we don't even know what these two flowers are yet. What could, oh, did we try Mellow Glow? We probably did. Let's try it again. We might die, but that's okay. So mellow glow. Nope. Okay. But I wrote it down. We tried Butterdale and Mellow Glow. That ain't it. What if what if one wait a minute? What if we're wrong about these flowers? Like I'm sitting here saying, like, oh, that ain't it. What if? Nah. Nah, that's definitely this one. Like, look at the leaves. That's definitely it. We're going to be stuck here if we can't get this. And we were doing so well. Oh, winter boar. Didn't we try winter boar? I don't think this is it, but let's try it. Nope. Oh boy. I feel like we have to have it. You know what? The de I wonder if the descriptions will tell us, you know? Ooh. No, because look at this. Like, look at you see the you see how it's like the point is not uh oh. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, I'll get back to it. <laughs> it's not mellow glow. 
I do not think it's that one. Oh, you. Did I try Eyebright? Try Eyebright. Yay! Okay, so we got the elixir. And we got an achievement, Master Brewer. How did, I, how did I not realize this one? Like, it looks just like it. Look at that. The little, little, see? The little lumpy center and the leaves with the line. How the heck did I miss that all this time? I don't know. I'm gonna put you back, though. Put you back over here. Look at all this space. The space over here. Yeah. Okay. Archive. Uh. Next. Let's. See. Oh, where is? Oh, there it is. Can I label it? Oh, I can. Not that we need to, because we're about to just give it to him. But <laughs> elixir. All right, well, let's just give it to him. That's cool, we can label it. Use. Woohoo! Baylock's elixir identified. Collect. Bring wax cap. I think we have that. An edible mushroom with some wild medicinal properties. When dried and eaten, it can help relieve pain. Wait, do I have that? All right, so. Yep, just put it over there. Oh, it stayed. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Yes, stay right there. Um, No, we don't have any more mushrooms. Yeah, next. Alice Boyd. I've run out of... Oh, I can't remember its name. It's a sweet-smelling plant with small purple flowers. I need it for reasons. Uh, what this? It has dark purple flowers or this no I mean we could try that we don't know what she wants shoot it could be this crap uh ugh Let's go with this one first. Let's see. Nope. Okay. And we're dead. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. I thought we ain't did this in a while. My sh a shiver travels down my spine. My mind is broken. I like the key one. I don't like that other one. I think it's this one. Yeesh. I feel revived. My mind is whole again. When notes and letters have been ticked, it means you have followed the clue on them and they can be safely added to the archive to make space in your drawer. So what mean? What does it mean when it's not ticked? You know, day eleven, all over again. And I heard y'all not heard. I read that there are sixteen days. So we're not far. It depends on how long it takes us to get these clues. All right. So it wasn't this one. So we can try the other one. This one. See if this is it. Solomon scepter. Okay. Cool. Next. Simone Green. Oh, goodness, Hellbore. You haven't been getting enough food. That's terrible. Whatever will become of you. My mother's had me looking into this servant, servant creature for you, but I'm afraid I'm not getting anywhere. I've not been getting anywhere. It's strange. I'm sure I've seen some reference to it before, but I'm drawing a blank when I try to find anything. I think Lord Fremont's archives would be a good place to look. 
I was going to post this to you, but I was in town anyway, so I thought I'd drop it off in person. That and a sneak in some hellbore hugs. Oh, that and sneak in some hellbore hugs. Oh, collect. All right, we got a letter. I've not been getting anywhere looking through my collections in Ambleside for any mention of the Servant. But Lord Fremont's archives at Muncaster are home to many ancient and ester es oh gosh, esoteric scrolls covering a wide variety of subjects. It might be worth a visit. Okay. So, Mancaster. Where's Mancaster? Mm. Hello? Oh, what? Man, oh, Mon Moncaster. Okay. I follow Fremont's manservant deep into the vaults of the castle. Two hours later, I have still found no mention of the servant. On the verge of giving up, a name grabs my attention, the Woken Dendru. Didn't Verona say that was another name for the savant? All right, so we put that away. It's checked off. The Woken Dendru is loyal to the summoner who becomes its master and can bend its terrible power to their will. This servant is assumed to be immortal and to have no known vulnerabilities, but that does not mean that it cannot be defeated. Many hundreds of years ago, a site of ritual importance was created near Black Comb. To the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak and the Dendru was ousted from this world Unfortunately, although we know that five plants were required for the ritual, the specific plants are not known. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hmm. A site of ritual importance was created near Black Home. Well, where's that? Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Where's Black Home? Oh, here we go. Okay, so do we just go to Black Comb? It says, to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak and the Dendru. Oh, you know what? Isn't this something about a Great Oak? The Great Oak. But do we go there? N9? Is that a clue? Let's see, maybe. N. Right here, right? Let's just double check. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. A huge tree stands before me, and possibly a tall- No. Tall and wide, bigger than I could ever imagine, and any living that thing might be. Its upper branches graze the sky. Boo! But well, that wasn't it. Uh... No. Oh, it's, it's on here still. Let's try Black Home next, I guess. I guess. Um... Water some plants. This will. Come on. Thank you. And move that over too. Thank you. And one more. Okay. So, so, this, near black comb, it doesn't say in black comb, it says near black comb, which is right here, 
to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak, and the Dendru. And we said the Great Oak was there. Tomb of the Hunter. To the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak and the Dendru. You have something to do with this? No. I don't think so. What is the Watcher? Great Oak is here. To the south of the Watcher. Oh wait, no. To the south of the Watcher. And the Dendru was ousted from this world. So the Dendru is not part of it. I think it's just near Blackcomb to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak. So if the Great Oak is N9, then could it be O9? A small stone shrine sits off to one side well, one side of the clearing. Five grooves run out from the center of the stone, widening into recess at the base. Five slots for five plants. This is the right place, but I'm too early. I need Verona Green's help to perform the ritual. Okay, let me write that down. So we found the ritual place. We just can't do anything. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. John Hall. Norwood, please. I find it's the only thing that can help me from nodding off in the night. On, on the night shift. I don't remember what no daggone Norwood is. Oh. Because we ain't figured it out. A bite of the crunchy root of this plant has the effect of a cold bucket of water thrown over the face. An unpleasant sensation accompanied by a sharp focus. It's claimed that Norwood releases spores that are invisible to the naked eye, showing up only under unnatural light. So, Norwood. Crunchy root. Should I use this? Would this show me? So oh! Sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to yell. I didn't mean to yell. So is this Norwood? What's it say? Oh, I don't know. Wait, okay. Let's make sure nothing else does it. I mean, we... But we know what all that stuff is, so it has to be one of these. And that's the only thing. Yup. This is it, y'all. Norwood. Woohoo! Right. Norwood. Woohoo! Let's. Daisy Dog. A simple potion that will grant courage can be brewed from the leaves. It is said that ancient warriors would take it before going into battle. Okay. Do we have anything? Oh, I think it's this. Look at the leaves. Daisy Dog. I think that's what that is. I think. All right. And this is Norwood. Yep. Norwood, you are. Cool. Okay. And day. Cool. So let's go on to the next day. When her chance finally came, she did not hesitate even for a moment. Afterwards, when the ardor was dead, she felt only elation. Years after she had first laid eyes on the book, she had what she needed. <gasps> did she, did this woman kill the ardor? Hmm, all different. Wonder. All right, the first letter of the Latin name of a plant known as golden light, golden light. The number of petals on a lucky cabilia flower. 
Oh, jeez. The first letter on the Latin name. Okay. Oops. Wait, but we haven't gotten... Oh, my gosh. We haven't gotten Golden Light. We haven't even gotten a page for it. So, we can't do that. So, y'all, I actually, during editing, figured out that we have Golden Light. Um, The Weeping Bell. The Weeping Bell, when I was reviewing my video before I posted it, I saw it said it is also known as Golden Light. And I completely forgot. So, we'll have to address that next episode. My bad. Yeah, we don't have a page for it. Verona Green. The sisterhood was attacked last night. Bethany is dead. <gasps> Along with the new Arda and 13 others. What? Those darn fools with all their secrets. No amount of pleading with them could get them to sense. But through blind luck, we have been left with a slender hope in this fight. Sister Charlotte managed to escape the slaughter with one thing that could help in the fight against the Savant. Oh my goodness. Trust no one. Slaughtered. What is this? Okay. This is weird. Hmm. I guess we need a key of some sort. David Shafo. They're saying the sisterhood has been attacked. Don't know much more than that. But those seeds of redemptionist have got all excited about it. There's a bunch of them chanting outside Pullivers right now. Alright, let's read this letter. Aha! Foxfield Trident. You know what to do here. All right, Foxfield is up here somewhere. Or I, no, it's definitely down here. Okay. <laughs> Foxfield Trident. From Foxfield, the Trident points me in the direction of some foothills northwest of the Swinside cir Stone Circle. A faint path leads me over a ridge and into a dell. Here, a plant thrives sheltered from the wind. Oh, jeez. That looks like the other one we have. Okay. Check. This is checked off, too. The eye one. We can leave that alone. Forest bear. I'm going to Black Home. I will kill this servant. My people have a saying. He who lives without fear does not live at all. I will not say that I am not afraid, but it will be no bad thing to die hunting such a noble adversary. I will take Embersol. Why is it? No. They said to give this, they said give him the lesser... Mary Doc, remember? Oh my gosh. So do we give him the lesser Mary Doc? Wait, what did it what does lesser Mary Doc even do again? Am I about to kill somebody? A single drop of the strong smelling sap from this plant can early drain a person's mental faculties, rain them slow and uncomprehending. Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like because they told me to, I have to give him the lesser Mary Doc, y'all. Oh, gosh. Lesser Mary Doc. Okay, and we got a book entry. Y'all, what did we just do to him? Mm. Oh, my gosh. All right, lesser Mary Doc. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Widows, whoa. Said to induce fear, also called Kempfoot, partly due to its unpleasant scent. 
Dainty dark flowers grow out from a bed of long, thin leaves. Okay. I'll think about that. Uh, all right, let's just switch this over real quick. I don't forget. Y'all, what did we just do to this man? Don't know. All right, so, um, what was that again? Uh, widow's something. Widow's well, okay. Dainty dark flowers grow out from a bed of long, thin leaves. I mean, the dark purple flowers. Maybe? Could be. Perhaps. <laughs> Let's do that. Widow's well. Could be, could be. Milton Forbes. Allow me to present my services. I own a small shop that specializes in curiosity. I would have thought that someone in your position ought to be interested in pursuing our collection of manuscripts on elixirs, for example. Arnside Antiques, 21 Orchard Road. Arnside Antiques, 21 Orchard Road. Is there an R inside on here? R inside. Let's see. The dark exterior of R inside antiques blends into its surroundings. A tailor called Jones in an ugly looking haberdashery, the extent that I walk past it three times before I find it. Inside, however, I am greeted by a world of intrigue and wonder. Old trinkets sit alongside faded books and manuscripts, while strange utensils and machines their use is unfathomable. A cock, a cockupy, <laughs> occupy rows of display cases. It is some time before I peel myself away, returning to Undermere with two new recipes for elixirs that demand further study. Hey, the elixir of the darned and St. Quentin's elixir. Okay, uh, made from a combination of Arbutum, Alacritus, Maculosus retinitia and mens fortis. This powerful elixir is dangerous and extreme caution is advised. It is said to bring a person back from the brink of death, but at the expense of their soul. Those who have drunk it appear vacant and lost, alive, but no longer really with us. Ooh. The other one, this elixir will enable any drinker of it to overcome their sense of fear, though it should be considered beforehand that fear is not always a bad thing. For example, it would not be wise to drink this near to the edge of a cliff. A five-pointed leaf to grant courage. A red flower to protect the mind. A seed pod for luck. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I don't know what they're saying. I don't know. But let's put this one away. I don't know what they're saying. Oh yeah, what was this again? Oh yeah, we don't have that yet. I would like to make sure... There's nothing else in here. Okay. Y'all, why haven't these gone away? Like, we figured all them out. Why haven't they gone away? I don't know. Hmm. All right. Let's continue. Faye Swift. The dreams have changed. I understand now what I need to do. When your librarian friend visits tomorrow, give her this instead of the palliants that she will ask for. Oh, jeez. She knows something that she's not telling you. All right. So, oh, clothes. Wow. We got through those two days quickly. All right. So this little blue flower here, they're saying to give, give the librarian. Who's the librarian again? Simone. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, let's go. Let's let's continue. I mean, psh. got time.
Equipped with the artist's knowledge, she journeyed west to the stone circle. Unknown to her, she was not alone as she made her preparations. Ooh. Day 13, Wednesday. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be um our friend. Uh, hello, this. And then where's, here it is. So end more. Where's end more? End more. And then Raven Spider? Is it like Raven as in, they said you might need to string more than one together. So is it Raven H, H29? And then Spider here? Yay! A jackdaw croaks, hidden somewhere nearby. Strange shapes of old stones pierce the long grass. Among them, some plants grow. Yes! Oh gosh, this looks weird. <laughs> okay, got two new plants. Y'all, we keep getting plants, and I'm sitting here thinking that we're like close to the end of the game, but we keep getting all these plants. Keep getting all these plants. Excuse me. I need look at all this. Now we got all this stuff unfigured. I thought we had a little bit. Eesh. Thank you. All right. Grace Enright. Have you heard of the this Mac woman? Imagine having that amount of power. Nations would kneel before you. You would be a god. That creature, it's huge, unstoppable, and they say it obeys her every command. It would certainly come in helpful with my father-in-law tomorrow, really. I guess I'll just have to settle for some Daisy Doc to help me get through it instead. Okay. Uh, Daisy Doc. Do we have any... Oh, yes, we have a, a, a thought. This, we think this is Daisy Doc. It's not it. One, oh, you know what? This is two leaves in a point. This is only one in a point. They did that on purpose, y'all. How much you want to bet they did that on purpose? This is not Daisy Dog. They did that on purpose. This. Yes, it's this. Two leads and a point. I didn't even look at this either. Yup. And we have a book entry. Please be that one we need. Nope. De okay, we know what this one is. Dead man's fingers. This fungus is typically found in dense forests protruding through the mulch. At a glance, it can appear as though a corpse is reaching up from the underground or undergrowth. Said to strengthen, resolve, and sharpen the mind. Dead man's fingers. Yeah, I think that's this one, y'all. Dead man's fingers. Yeah, that's what we think that one is. All right, and then um, uh, this one, Daisy Doc. Okay. Whoa. Next. Oh, we got a letter. This letter was delivered in an unusual way. There was no address provided, just the horticulturist. Spelled wrong. Or hort, horticulturist. <laughs> I have to assume it was meant for you. If you know your plants, this letter is for you. Aha. Ho, ho. So you got it working. Oh, yes, yes, it works. It works. Look to the north of Bofell. 
at the source of the river. Here we go again. Ask. Nobody knows it grows there. It will be oh, it will be our little secret. Ho ho. The north of Bofell, at the source of the river Esk. North of Bofell, at the source of the river Esk. Bofell. Uh, well, this is Bofell. Only one river. River Esk. Here we go. So here? Sure enough, I find a plant here that I have never seen before. Okay, Looks like a pacifier. <laughs> All right. That over there. Laura Dunn. My husband likes to forage for mushrooms, but I'm afraid. Oh, but I'm worried about the ones he he's brought back from his latest venture. He's just been on a trip across the lake, exploring the woods to the west of here. He's got a bag full of odd looking mushrooms that he says are perfectly safe, but they don't look edible to me. I'd have brought one with me to help identify it. But he's hoarding them because he thinks I'm going to throw them out. I'll come back tomorrow. Mr. Dunn, mushrooms, woods, west of Undermere, across the lake. Okay. Alright. So, Mr. Dunn, mushrooms, woods, west of Undermere, which is west across the lake so it's one of these two so let's try this one first mushrooms how have i never been here before they're hard to find at first but soon i'm seeing them everywhere oh i think we have a book for this a book page for that i do i do i do i do oh all right let's put that away Lord Fremont told me he was able to help you find some information on a servant. I've been looking all over the library, but I've all I've discovered is a mold problem. Is she the one who's supposed to be giving that blue flower to? I hoped you might have some sweet breath that could help clear it up. The Lyle of Neptune, because it ain't... Oh gosh, hold on. So she wants us to give her something we don't have. Lyle of Neptune. Aha, that is it. This right here. So this is what they want us to give her. So we're going to have to give it to her. Lyle of Neptune. Right. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. I just saw something happen. Oh, hold on. Wait. Oh, I didn't want to mention this, but Fremont gave me... Come on now. Gave me something else from his archives. A recipe for an elixir. It's the key to the link to the servant. In theory, it would be po possible to wrest control of it from the woman in a jade mask. In theory. But, it only, but the only records I was able to find are hundreds of years old. And even if it works, what then? The power that can be wielded through the Woken Dendro is too great for any one person. We should stick to the Sisters Hood's ritual. Okay, hold on a second. All right, so Lyle of Neptune. Wait, nope. Neptune. Lyle of... Neptune. Okay. Cool. Gosh, you're running out of space. Okay. So, that's done. So, y'all, when I was trying to move the plant down, this, this acted like it was a space. So, 
So I'm wondering if there's a flower that we're supposed to pull in here. Maybe this one? No. Nope, not it. What about you? No, your leaves don't look, but this one looked like it. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, it could be this one. Or it could be something we haven't identified. I mean, we've already identified, to be honest. That's four leaves. Six. That's five, but it's not pointy. Five, but not pointy. Yeah, none of these are pointy. Eh, let's go for it. Nope, okay. Oh, jeez, okay. Is it the one I hate? Oh, God. I hate this one. I really do. I do, I do, I do. All right. Uh, uh, would it be on this side? I don't know. I'm just being reckless now. I need the... Yep. Yep. Uh, you. Right there. Yep, okay. And you. Somewhere over there. I think you're over here. And you're. There. Excuse me. It must be like this or something. There we go. I feel revived. My mind is whole again. I'm not doing a hint. Leave me alone. All right, let's leave this alone for now. Oh, okay, this elixir we got. The elixir of control. The link between the savant and the master is not fully understood. What we do know, however, is that the link can be broken at the expense of the mind of the master. In doing so, a new master can take the place and assume control over the servant. A strong will is required when consuming this elixir, lest the mind of the drinker is overwhelmed. It's believed that the power of the stone circle can amplify the effect of the elixir. Ooh, okay. Lord Fremont told me he was able to find you some information on the Servant. I've been looking all over the library, but I've... Oh, wait. We've we read this already. We never hit okay. Oh, we have to redo it? Oh, no. We're at the flower. Oh, here it is. Okay. Now we have to let her finish talking and then say, okay. We got the elixir from her. The elixir of control. I should write this down. Control. Servant. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Ooh, we got a letter and a book entry. Please be the other the book entry we need. Uh-oh, now we got two of these. Wait, what book entry did we get? Y'all, what book entry did we get? 
Did we get Palliant? No, we, we've had that before. Oh, I hope... Oof. I don't know. Was it this one? Sour Bandy? I don't remember ever getting that. It can help with memory recovery, especially if the memory has been deliberately sabotaged. The name of this plant derives from the fact that although edible, the large stem stamen is extremely bitter to the taste. It has to be that because I don't remember ever seeing that in our book. Yeah, it has to be. Put me on. Lorena Chapman. My cousin will be married in three days. If you've got some trimble huff, then it'll save me the trouble of going out to find some myself. If you knew my cousin, you know she's not worth the trouble. Wait, before I give it to you, let's take a look and see what Trimblehoff is and why you want to give it to her. This one. Yeah, the Trimblehoff is traditionally used as decoration. Oh, at weddings, as it is thought to strengthen relationships. The cross section of the small cup like flowers, they generally point downwards to avoid filling with water and to allow easy access for pollinating insects. Okay. Um, we had a, oh, 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 now I think it's this. Bell-like flowers and heart-shaped leaves. I think it's this, y'all. Let's see. Oh, it's not. Wow, I was so sure. I was. Tremble. Huff. I was sure. I really was. Wait, we... Didn't we figure out what Daisy Doc was? We did. That wasn't it. Let me take that off. Because that's going to throw me off. Just... Go away. Okay, so. Oh. Small cup like flowers. So it's not this. Hmm. Point downward. It's not that. Like, what? Let me make sure there's nothing hiding over here that ain't got no label. Everything I think has a label. Yeah. Makeup's worth. I'm just making sure, y'all. Can't believe it's not that. I was so sure. I don't really see anything else. Bubbles. Cup like flower. Oh, cup like flowers. So could it be this? They're pointing down. No, it ain't that. Hmm. This is the only thing that has small cup like flowers, y'all. So let's give this a go. Hold on. Let me close all this stuff. All right. Go with this one. No, what? Wow, okay. So, this is not Tremble Puff. Well, you stay over here because we still ain't figured you out, so. Hmm. 
I'm stumped. Like I don't I don't know. I don't know which one it is. Weird. Like the fact that it's not these two is bothering me. Hmm. Can't go any further over here. This is all stuff we've already identified. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Hmm. I'm mad we got... Look, okay, let's put one of these away. Because we don't need both of them. We can make that. This is probably that. This is like that either Fever Kiss or the other one, like Fever Kiss. And that's that mushroom right here. Anyway, all right. Uh, right. Let's see. So we have these elixirs. We have this. We have this disc. Making sure. <laughs> okay. And then this elixir. Yeah, we don't have much else to do. Like this right here. We don't have the page for golden light. Yeah, we don't have the page for it. And then we figured this out already. Do, do I need to figure this out again? You know, like why, why is it still here? That's what I don't understand. Why is it still here? Should I do this again and see? I think that was it. Yeah. All this stuff back. They should have had a section called like recipes or something, you know? All right, so it was this one, that one, you, you, yeah, whatever was in here. We've gotten, so can I just archive all of these? I don't know, that's smart, but it's kind of getting in the way. Okay, anyway, I'm confused. I really am. Curious about this too. You know? Huh? Yeah, let's just hold on to that for now and focus. But yeah, real talk. Tremble Huff. How would we don't have anything? And, and like, we have to have it, I feel like. So, y'all, maybe we'll just figure that out next episode. Maybe I need to just meditate. Hold on. Strength in relationships. Small cup like flowers. Point downward. Avoid filling with water. How the heck is it not this or that? How? I'm kind of fuzzled.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, y'all. I'm gonna end it here. I gotta meditate on this. <laughs> and figure out uh what what to what to do. Cause I feel like it should have been one of those two, but it's 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 not. It's not one of those two. But we did good. We got what, like four this episode and got through a lot of the clues. So I mean, that's nice. If we have to, we'll do the hint next episode. But I think for now we're good. I think we're good. Um, let's see. So before we go, let's start taking a look at some of these. So we think, okay, yeah, we think that's Agiria. Okay. Dead man's fingers, we think it's this one. I should put them in order. Like Agiria and then Dead Man's Fingers. Devil's Nightcap. Didn't we do Lark Shine already? All right, so we don't have anything for Devil's Nightcap. It says, pleasant scent, not dissimilar to pine needles. It doesn't tell us anything. Can we get something that looks like the leaves? That's definitely not it. Yeah, nothing for sure. Not what I meant to do. Yeah, not not really sure what Devil's Nightcap is just yet. Uh, Ember Soul. Excuse me, sorry. Did we think something was okay? Yeah, we think that's Ember Soul. Evilum. Many short, pretty leaves. The scent is overpowering. Stimulates senses and rejuvenates achy bone. Could be this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six. I mean, it could still be this. So do we want to maybe say that that's what this could be? Maybe. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, Lark Shine. Yeah, we 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 knew what this. We said what this was. Get that over here. Excuse me. Make room. All right. Uh, farmer's worry. Could be this. Spongy mushroom. Spongy texture. Yep. So this, this is probably farmer's worry. Okay. And then... Hen chuck. This. Okay. So we do think that this is something. So hen chuck. And then next is Palliance. Oh gosh, that could have been Palliance. Hmm. Uh-oh. That could be this too. Hold up. So that could be that or Palliance. Like the leaves look just like it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, sheep snap. Green sea pods of sheep snap have a hard outer shell and sound hollow and tapped. Ooh, is that this? Maybe? Green seed pods? Could be. So, sheep snap. Gonna go with we think that's that one. All right, uh, sour brandy, large stamen is extremely bitter.
unpleasant scent. Smells rotten. This talk about a large stamen. That looks like this thing in the middle. So yeah, let's go for it. Sour brandy. Okay. And then, oh wait, hold on. Spring wax cap. We don't have any more mushrooms, so we already think that that's the other one. And I don't, I don't think that's what that is. All right, so Storian, dark red fruits. We think that's Storian. Yep, right here. We think that's Storian. Okay. And then Dagon, Trimblehoff, and Widow's Woe. We think this right might be Wid Widow's Woe. So Trimblehoff is the only one that we're not sure. Cups facing down. The only thing I could think, well, that's not a cup, see? That's not a cup. None of these look like cups. Like there's, it's stuff like, like it's filled in right there. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. But I'm glad we caught up on, you know, what we think other ones are. So we'll have to figure this out next time. But yeah, well, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed it, please get a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. If you actually want, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.